because the National Assembly Select Committee talks on monitoring of monitoring government projects has intervened to the standoff between the Accountant General and the National Road Authority over the management of the Senegambia Bridge. The two institutions were in loggerheads as to who should manage the bridge services, prompting the National Assembly Committee to intervene over the matter. But Maria Macham has the rest of that story. The meeting held at the National Assembly on Tuesday brought together different stakeholders, including the Accountant General, the National Road Authority, the Minister of Finance and Works and the Ferry Services to discuss on related matters of revenue collection and the management of the bridge. Since the inauguration of the bridge in January 2019, the Gambia Port Authority Ferry Services were responsible for ticket collecting and the banking aspect of the bridge, while the National Road Authority, NRA, was responsible for the management and data recording. The Gambia government, in an early resolution, stipulated that the revenue collection from the bridge will be controlled by the Accountant General, while the National Road Authority will be in charge with the management aspect. Mort Cisse, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, explains the arrangements that were put in place after the bridge was constructed. After the bridge was constructed and handed over, uh, a, a, a temporal tool arrangement was put in place, or a temporal boot collection system was put in place. And at that time, um, the ferry services only had uh, uh, an appropriate ticketing system and therefore they were engaged uh, to support the NRA in the interim management uh, and operation of the collecting boot, meaning we will be using the services of the ferries for ticketing and collection and banking while NRA continue to support traffic management and basic uh, technical matters and of course to uh, record data and then report uh, on the arrangement. And it has been like that for, for the past one and a half year. Now we are at a stage where now um, Accountant General is taking over uh, that collection, but the, uh, op the maintenance um, and general operation of the bridge will still be in the hands of uh, NRA. The Accountant General, Maud Laminba, observed that the Public Finance Act stated that the Accountant General is the Receiver General and Chief Accounting Officer of the government. AGBA also added that there shouldn't be differences over the bridges management program. I don't see any issue. Every sector had, has its core mandate. Every institution in government has its core mandate. The core mandate of the Ministry of Works is not to collect revenue or to manage the finances of the government. That is the core mandate of the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs. So the, as far as revenue is concerned, it is the mandate of the Ministry of Finance. And the, designate, the designated responsibility lies with the accountant general. So for me, really, I don't see any issue as far as this arrangement is concerned. However, the majority leader of the National Assembly raised concerns about the fate of the staff between NRA and the ferries. In response, Abdullahi Jalo, permanent secretary at the Minister of Finance, said the employment status of staff at the bridge is not finalized, as he explains. As the staff of the ferries of concern, uh, the, employment the employment status of the staff concern have not been uh, decided yet. So uh, the understanding is that they will continue to work and support the office of the accountant general until uh, the future status, employment status of those concerns have been determined by the relevant authorities. After a long consultation, the different parties were able to reach a conclusion that the revenue management of the bridge will be under the Accountant General. The Senegambia Bridge, also known as the Transgambia Bridge, is a bridge that links the Transgambia Highway connecting northern and southern Gambia.
The bridge lies approximately 10 kilometers south of Farafeni on the border with Senegal. The bridge was inaugurated by President Adam Barrow in January 2019. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Cham.